Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to enable XCSS and DLSS subscalers in Resident Evil 4 Remake. This game only supports FSR 1 and FSR 2.2 upscalers. DLSS is only going to work on RTX GPUs. Non-RTX GPU owners can use XCSS. FSR upscaler in this game produces a very soft looking image. It also produces a lot of texture shimmering around the vegetation, tree and fences. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. I'll be following Tech Power Up's guide, basically updating it. They use DLSS version 3.1.11. I'll be using version 3.8.10. These are the installation instructions. We need to use RE framework in order to get these upscalers working. Just need to extract RE framework's TLL file to the game's install directory where the game's exe file is present. Then we need to download upscaler base plugin archive. Again, extract its content to the same directory. Repeat the steps for nvngx underscore dlss.dll file. This is the file corresponding to dlss upscaler. Repeat the step for xcss archive file. This is intel's xcss upscaler. If you are using dlss upscaler, you will be required to adjust the LOD bias values via nvidia profile inspector. Just need to set anti-aliasing transparency super sampling to this option and texture filtering LOD bias DX2 minus 0 0.5000 for DLSS quality mode minus 1 for DLSS balance mode and minus 1.5000 for DLSS performance mode then we just need to launch the game RE frameworks menu will pop up under the temporal upscaler option we'll see the option to enable DLSS or XCSS just make sure you have disabled FSR version 1 and 2.1 from the in-game settings now I'll be downloading the required files. First we have RE framework. You can download it for free from GitHub. Just click on releases here. I'll give the link to this site in the description of the video. Click on actions here. Need to have a free GitHub account in order to download any stuff from here. Scroll down until you find this build. Merge branch master into PD upscaler. Upload it two months ago. Look for RE4 under artifacts section. There it is. Just click on the download icon here. This download icon won't appear if you are not signed into your GitHub account. Download. Next we have upscaler base plugin file. It's available on Nexus Mods. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Just click on files. Now here is the tricky part. Do not use the latest version of upscaler base plugin. It won't work with RE framework version 1.2. You need to download an older version of this file, version 1.1.2. This will work. Click on upscaler base plugin, click on manual download. Now click on slow download. I will be using DLSS upscaler version 3.8.10. You can download its DLL file from Tech Power Ups website. Click on download. Now click on any of the servers here. Download will start. NVIDIA profile inspector can be downloaded from GitHub. I'll be using its version 2.4.0.4. Just expand the asset section and click on the first dot zip link. Just download XSS Upscaler's archive file from Tech Power Ups installation instructions. Click on download link here. Now click on this download icon. Download will start. First I'll install RE framework. Just open its archive file. Open this archive file again. Copy this DLL file D input 8. Need to paste it in the game's install directory. I on the Steam version of the game. Select it in your Steam library. Right click. Manage. Click on Browse Local Files. There is the game's exe file. Paste RE Framework's TLL file here. Now open DLSS Upscaler's archive file. Copy this TLL file. nvngx underscore DLSS. Need to paste it in the same directory where you pasted RE Frameworks DLL file right here. Now open Upscaler Base Plugin archive file. Open Upscaler Base Plugin folder. Copy the DLL file present inside this folder. Again, we need to paste it in the same directory where we pasted RE Frameworks DLL file right here. Now I'll install XCSS Upscaler. Just open its archive file. Copy all of the DLL files present inside this archive file. Paste them in the games install directory where the games exe file is present. Right here. 
Next step is only for RTX GPU owners. Open NVIDIA Profile Inspector .zip file. Select and copy all of the files present inside this archive file. Go back, paste. Run this exe file and media profile inspector. Click on the drop down bar next to profiles and select Resident Evil 4. There it is Resident Evil 4 Biohazard 4. Now you need to set anti lazing transparency, super sampling to replay mode all option. Click on the drop down bar next to it, select the option. Now we need to adjust the LOD bias DX value according to DLSS subscalers preset. I'll be using the upscalers quality preset, so I'll just set the value to minus 0.5000. We are done here. Click on apply changes. Launch the game. When the game starts, you'll see RE Frameworks menu. It's working. I even tried using OptiScaler frame generation in this game. Was not able to get it working. Okay, from here, just expand temporal upscaler section. I'll disable it for the time being. From this drop down bar, you can select the upscalers DLSS and XCSS off. First, I'll show you the image quality using FSR2 upscaler. Toggle RE Frameworks menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. In game graphics settings, full HD resolution, refresh rate to 40 Hz. Uncap the FPS, display mode full screen, V Sync off, FSR2 on using its quality preset. High to max settings. Bloom off. Motion blur off as well. Lens flare, lens distortion disabled. That's it. I'll keep the gameplay short. Just observe the trees in the background can observe some texture shimmering around the branches like this see this is FSR upscaler look at the shimmering effect image quality is looking soft now I'll just switch to DLSS upscaler expand temporal upscaler section click on enable enable sharpness as well I'll just set the value to 0 0.500 Upscaler DLSS using its quality preset Default debug options not tweaking them Now you need to disable FSR upscaler from the in-game settings Just open the in-game graphics settings and disable FSR from here Back to the game Yeah the image quality is looking much sharper now and the texture shimmering issue is fixed same goes for the trees in the far off background this is amazing DLSS upscaler in this game works very nicely I'm also observing a small improvement in performance 4 to 5 FPS higher with DLSS upscaler I'll just switch to XCSS now 86 to 90 FPS with DLSS upscaler in this section. From the drop down bar, select XCSS. Back to the game. Yeah, FPS is around 85. DLSS upscaler had slightly better performance than this, 4 to 5 FPS higher. And XCSS upscaler's image quality is looking slightly softer than that of DLSS upscaler. But the texture shimmering issue is not present, so it's better than FSR upscaler's image quality. See? So roughly the same performance using XCSS and FSR upscalers. Change from this drop down bar, TLSS. Look at that improvement in image sharpness. No loss in image detail even during If you have an RTX GPU just use DLSS upscaler RE Frameworks upscaler implementation is not perfect though Whenever you are using it The game's menu UI elements look a bit pixelated Then the UI elements when we have temporal upscaler disabled 
for example i have temporal upscaler enabled right now and you can see these options are looking a bit pixelated i'll just disable temporal upscaler off back to the game the text is looking much sharper now so this is one problem that i encountered while using this mod it's not a big deal people will spend most of their time playing the game instead of navigating through the menu so that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day